Now here is something interesting. This is a mini netbook that I got at a local supermarket for 88 euro. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, a laptop for 88 euro. Now, well, still it is, um, well, you get what you pay for. Let's take a look at the technical specifications. The technical specifications are quite impressive, but uh, <laughs> the negative way, not the positive way. We have a 300 megahertz processor, 7 inch display, and we have 128 DDR2 RAM, and that's a lot. Now, it's getting even better. Out of those 128 MB, 64 MB are only simulated by the operating system. So we really have a whole six, uh, 64 MB of RAM in this thing. Now internal memory, 2 gigabytes. Now that replaces your HDD. There is no HDD. The 2 gigabytes is all you have. External memory, uh, you can hook up um, USB devices, of course. It does have three USB 2.0 jacks. Uh, it also has an SD and SDHC card slot. It has uh, Wi-Fi and Ethernet and a micro microphone jack and headphone jack and uh, has a German keyboard layout. That's important. And it does come with some useful software, at least. Uh, it is using uh, the Windows CE 6.0 as an operating system. Now, that system is basically for mobile phones. <laughs> um, it has Microsoft Word Pad, yeah, I guess you can expect that. It has something called SoftMaker Office, and that's actually quite usable. And uh, MSN. I don't know what that is, but it does come with Windows as well. Uh, Internet Explorer, of course. Uh, media Player and something they call a Core Player. And uh, yeah, games. Free Cell and Solitaire. Yeah, that's something else you get with uh, just about every Windows system. So those are the specifications. Now let's take a look at the actual netbook. Yep, there it is. It's extremely small. I mean, compare that with the size of my hand. This is really very, very small. And that's why I got it. I mean, <laughs> I basically spent 88 euro on a piece of garbage. I know that. But uh, I just thought this was so cute, I had to get it. <laughs> yeah, give you a close-up of the whole thing. It's, uh, it's made by JTEC which uh, is also responsible for all those uh, piece of garbage camcorders that uh, the local supermarket offers. Let's turn this thing on. It has, uh, yeah, the power switch is in an absolutely wonderful place. It's right in that little corner there. So if you have it closed, you can easily turn it on accidentally. See, power switch is up there. If you have it opened, you can't reach the power switch. Isn't that awesome? I have to kind of try to reach it. Yes, I got it. Okay, I got it, and uh, there it is. There it is. Let's see, it's booting up, and uh, gotta do something with the exposure here. Yes, that's better. So, uh, yeah, that's a little startup sound, and uh, I got a password on here, which I installed. Now look at that, there is like an, an arrow right there in the graphics. You can see the times covering up the, the date, so that makes sense. But, uh, let me enter my password here. And there we have the desktop, which uh, still looks a bit bright. Okay, guess that's uh, as good as it can possibly get. But uh, yeah, you can see we get a bunch of uh, applications. Oh, 
right there. And uh, over here we have like uh, one of those uh, uh, things that uh, you also get in Windows 7. Uh, it was made by Wonder Media. There is our little uh, window down there. Oops. Right there. Now this was all translated by some Chinese people into German. Uh, so it's kind of funny uh, to see uh, <laughs> some of this. I mean, for example, down there, that uh, little part, usually in the German edition, I don't know what it says in the English edition, but it, I think it also says start. But in the German edition of Windows, it usually says start down there. Now, on this Chinese translated edition, it says begin, uh, which is <laughs> like... Uh, hmm bit weird, but it's getting even better. If you turn it off, it says, oh, you can't see it, it says, geschlossenes System. Now, for one thing, that's not a question. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, like, uh, if I translate that back to English, it, it would say, closed system, question <laughs> mark. Yeah, <laughs> this is really a funny little thing. We can take a quick look at the office thingy on here. It's called Text Maker. And uh, it does take a while till all those things open up. And uh, I'm not filming the right thing here. Uh, get rid of that. Wants me to registrate this thing, which is kind of weird. But um, now. I want to give you an experience of uh, 300 megahertz pure processor power. It's real slow. Even even the text program is real slow. I mean, I want to I want to type in something, and uh, you'll see that it takes a while until that appears on the screen. So, <laughs> yeah, that's real powerful. If I go ahead, and uh, hope you can see me. Uh, no, hope you can see the laptop. That's what I mean. <laughs> this is absolutely wonderful. <laughs> um, okay, don't want to save this thing. No. Now, also, the Windows system thinks that it was inside of a PDA. You know, it, it, it doesn't even know that it's inside of a laptop, you know. So that's why you get down here a, a keyboard, like you would get on a, on a PDA. It just pops up down there, you can turn that on. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's just, uh, yeah. and of course the, the mouse pad replaces the, your, your pen that you would have on a PDA. That's, oops. The mouse pad is kind of tricky. Get rid of that, okay. And I uh, guess we want to turn this off now. But, uh, yeah, that's it. It's real fast, uh, since it's all, you know, flash-based and for PDA use, actually. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Now, you can also install other systems. You don't have to stick with the pre-installed Windows. You can also install certain versions of Linux. You can also install Android. You can basically install everything that would also run on a modern PDA or mobile phone, you know, those smartphones. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, <laughs> this is... I guess this is now looking like some kind of a review or something. So I better close this all by saying I do not recommend getting this. This is really a toy. If you have 88 Euro lying around somewhere, you can get it. But uh, if you really want to get a nice uh, netbook, save some more money and uh, get a proper netbook. I mean, I do have my, my median netbook that uh, you have seen before. So, 
yeah, this is really just a toy, and I have no idea for how long I'm going to keep this thing. <laughs> May put it up on eBay. I don't know, but uh, yeah, that's the JTEC JBook nine nine oh one.